Uh, our, our zip code is 23435. And we just thank God for each and every one that has tuned in this morning. And we come to magnify him. He, we come to glorify him on today. So we ask that you bring in your wandering minds. Uh, if you can stand to your feet as, as we come before the throne of grace this morning to magnify God, to bless his holy and righteous name. Bring in our wandering minds and let's tell God all about it. Dear, merciful, and all-wise God, it's once again that we, your people, come, Lord God, kneeling within our minds and within our hearts before such a mighty God as He. This morning, Lord God, we don't come in form or fashion. We don't come for outside show, but we come to bless you on today, Lord. As we come this morning, we ask that you forgive us of our sins of omission as well as commission on today. Have your way today, Lord God. Somebody needs a touch this morning, Lord God. Somebody needs their mind regulated, Lord. Somebody needs their heart fixed, Lord. Today, Lord God, they're in the right place, Lord God. Lord God, we come this morning, Lord God, to magnify a God that can do anything but fail. And because you are that great God, we come before you this morning, Lord. Lord God, leaning and depending on you more than anything but blessing your name for being so good. You woke me up this morning and you started me on my way for that call that I give you praise. Lord God, this morning we ask that you Lord God, will look out for that mother's prayer, Lord God, her son, Lord God, her daughter, that's near as the devil's hell, pick them up in the name of Jesus, free their minds, Lord God, bring deliverance to their lives, Lord God, give them, Lord, what, what you need them to have, Lord, today, Lord God, financially, Lord God, economically, Lord, have your way in their lives, Lord God, we are praying, Lord God, that you, Lord God, will have a great move in our nation. Lord, oh God, touch our leadership, Lord God. Give them what they stand in the need of to make the judgment calls, Lord God, the rulings that they need to make in days and times such as these, oh God. Heal our lands. Heal our lands, oh God. Oh God, cover our leadership, oh God. Oh God, from the levels of the president on down, oh God. Across every pulpit, oh God. Have your way, oh God. We ask these blessings and prayers to know the name of the Father, know the name of the Son, know the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost, and let us be one today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Have your way today, Lord. Have your way today, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes,
I, I just want to tell somebody you, you may feel that way because of certain things that might have happened in your life, but there is something that has been sitting on the inside of you since you were created. Something that has been placed on you when God first created man. He breathed into man and man became a living. So there was something put in us in the very beginning that we sometimes don't even realize we have. Just like when you buy, you know, I, I, I bought a, um, uh, a set of a flashlight yesterday, and something that the flashlight said, you know, it, it had batteries included. Mm -hmm. Let me know, I didn't have to get nothing else if that was going to work. Mm -hmm. If that was going to, you know, shine and it was going to work. I didn't have to go back to the store anymore. I had everything I needed, and today I'm going to show you God has done the same thing with these bodies that we have. This mind that we have, we have everything that we need. Batteries are included. Sometimes we, we don't think we are prepared and have what we need, but God did not do that to us. He, he is not that type of God. He has given us everything that we stand in the need of. In, in the book of um, Peter, um, in the first in, in first Peter, we find Peter is just trying to encourage um, the Christians uh, because of the persecutions and and all that Nero was doing at that time. They they were perplexed on every side. They were being persecuted. They had, they had economic problems and situations. It almost sounds like today, doesn't it? But you know, and, and then in 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 second Peter. He does a little bit of the same, but he's doing more of trying to teach and to restore certain things that false teachers had come and had taken and had brought heresies and things in place. He had people thinking what they were thinking was entirely backwards, and he had to restore and put things back in place. And this is what he's letting the people know. You have everything that you need. Okay, tell me. Explain that to me. He wants to encourage them. He wants to let them know Jesus is coming again. He wants them to realize that, you know, everything that you've heard uh, is not like it, it, it appears. But now I'm bringing good teaching and correct teaching back to the house. And this is the same Peter we talked about last week who walked on the water uh, without knowing exactly what was going on. This is about... Forty years later, this man had gotten to the point because in the beginning when he started this particular text, he talked about, he called himself Simon Peter. He letting you know his, his position as well as the office that he's holding. Not only that, when he uh, stated that he's also showing what God had done to him because in the beginning, Peter wasn't the rock. Peter wasn't who we thought he should have been in the very beginning. But this is what happens with all of us. We start out when we feel inadequate. But if we stay in the word of yeah. God, if we do what is pleasing in the sight of God, we grow. We turn into not only um, people that somebody can lean on, but we can be the people that direct people and help people in life. Sometimes we don't feel like we're supposed to. Sometimes we don't feel good, but we think we don't have what it takes. But this word, this today, this word tells us that I have everything that I need. What do you mean? It says you have everything that you need according to his divine power. His divine power is the source of our sufficiency and perseverance. His divine power is the source of everything that I need if I'm going to obtain and stand and last during these last and evil days. His source, he is the source and power of everything I ever need. I, I don't need just what I get in education to get me to where I'm supposed to be. I don't get everything that I need from my job, but my source, my true source come from the power of God. And if I'm going to stand, if I'm going to be something in life, I'm going to lean on that source and that power. I get it from the divine source, the divine power. I'm not going to be before you long. And the word uh, also lets us know we get that divine power and we get that from the source. And also he has given 
unto us all things. And today, I need to allow somebody to realize that all means all. Yes, sir. Some people say, I just got this much. I, I don't have... I don't have the self-esteem that I need. I don't have the build-up that I need. I don't have the confidence I need. See, what I want to allow you to see, just like in that pack uh, or a flashlight pack, I have a set of batteries that came with it. And a battery has three basic parts, if I'm not mistaken. A cathode, an electrolyte, and also a anode and these things make up that battery and make this battery operate mm -hmm. we have because we are a triune we are we are uh, we are body we are mind and we are spirit uh, we can also say you know we are serving the triune god father son and holy ghost and when we were first developed these things were already inside of us and because these things were already inside of us just like these three parts that are in these batteries some part of it is negative, part of it is positive, and they're pushing um, that flow of power to a point that we can light up or en energize what needs to be energized. God has already put inside of us what we need to light somebody up or light ourselves up. We have been given a power that has been sitting dormant in us, some of us, and we don't even realize that God wants to let you know, I have given you everything that you need uh, to be successful in this world, not only naturally, but spiritually. And I want you to know today, you can stand up and light yourself up. Sometimes we have to encourage ourselves, but not only will you encourage yourself, you have the power that's lying on the inside of you to encourage somebody else. Yeah. John 4 and 4 said, greater is he that's in me than he that's yeah. in the world. I got a power that's been sitting on the inside of me and somebody might have to come in and show me how to use or read the direction which is the word of God. And this word will us, allow us to establish the relationship that we need if we're going to turn on this power source that's going to change your life, that's going to change somebody else's life. But he already has placed it on the inside of you. So be encouraged today. You may say, I went through this and I went through that, but greater is he that's in you. And because of everything he's placed on the inside of you, you can overcome. He said, oh, it's time to rejoice. Oh, yes, you will go through tribulation, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world and I'm sitting on the inside of you waiting to be activated. So when I am activated, no man, no woman will be able to stand against you because greater is he that's in you. Don't you know today? You can be victorious yes. no matter what. Yes. No matter what. Yes. People say I have mental conditions. No matter what. I was abused when I was young. No matter what. On, I went through this, that, and the other. I don't feel love, but there's something on the inside of you that wants to connect and get certain things going into you. Yes. It doesn't mean those things didn't happen, but he has given you the coping mechanism on the inside of you to deal with those particular issues when you allow yourself to be in tune with God. And this is what he wants us to do. He wants us to realize we have the power, we have the source, we have everything that we need if we're going to stand in days and times such as these. Yes. Be encouraged because the batteries are already included. You have what you need on the inside of you to be strong and to be energized. You have whatever it takes to overcome because he is the, the power source. And since he is the power source, since he is the power source, I can achieve anything that I need to achieve in life. It's not what man says, but it's what God says. And when God says that I have everything I need, I have gotten to the point in life that this word stands above what I hear from the White House. 
This word stands above what I get at my house. This word stands above what I hear at your house. I don't care what nobody says. If I walk in his word, his will, and his way, it establishes relationship, intimacy. I grow, I learn, I build, I become what I'm supposed to be. But we have to stay in his word, his will, and his word and his way, and what we allow ourselves to do just that, it starts to activate and change that power source and let that power source be released in our lives. Somebody been sitting on so much doodleness power. Somebody been sitting on so much exousia power. He given them power as well as authority. Oh, don't you know today you have more power than any nuclear weapon. You have more power than anything that's ever been created all because of what God has placed on the inside of you. Yes. The batteries are already included. Mm. It just takes us. It takes us to start taking the instruction manual that came with us. And when we read it, oh, that's how that works. You know, a lot of times people get stuff and they like, like putting together from the picture on the outside. But one thing I noticed on most Bibles, it's not even a picture on the outside on what we're supposed to look like. So God has let me know, okay, there's no picture, so I need to read every page. I need to take in every part. This is what it's supposed to look like. When I finish going through this word, that's how it's supposed to work. If he said no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper, I have to believe that. If he said great is he that's in me, that's in, that's in the world, I have to believe that. No matter what is going on, if I need healing, he, he told me that healing is the children's bread, I need to believe that. If my mind needs to be regulated, he told me uh, he's going to give me a new mind because I am a new creature, I, I have to believe that. Batteries are included no matter what you want to believe, no matter what you think. Batteries are included. God has given you everything, 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 everything that you need yes, to be successful in life, naturally as well as spiritually. Yes. Let's hold on to his word. Trust him at his word. Believe him in his word. Mm. You may think all kind of thoughts, but like I said before, in my spiritual molecular structure, he put certain things in me. Acts 1 and 8, he tells me, but ye shall receive power when the Holy Ghost, when his Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and to Judea and Samaria and to all the and to all the end of the earth. That this is just, this is a power of authority. Then he tells me, I'm not only going to have power, but I'm going to have authority. And this authority allows me to use that power. Yeah. And when I use it, lives will be changed. People will be saved. People will be delivered. Yeah. It will take them to the seven steps of deliverance one day. Mm -hmm. They will see honesty, humility, repentance. Mm -hmm renunciation, forgiveness, prayer, and even warfare. If we walk according to his word, his will, and his way, people's lives will be changed. Batteries are included. So no matter what you think, you are sufficient. I know you have your three o'clock in the morning situation where you feel all alone. But he said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So we need to turn to our word of God. I know sometimes we feel like I'm by myself, but we are never alone. I got a brother, I got a sister, something the enemy wants you to think you are by yourself and you are alone, but you're not. This is the time we have to grow closer to each other and we can't forsake the assembly. I know we can't come together like we used to, but what we have to do if I can't, actually touch you. I can call you. Yeah. I can FaceTime you. I can Zoom you. There's a way that we can still connect. Do not allow the enemy to have you thinking you are by yourself. Yeah. I'm here to denounce that right now. You are not alone. 
you have help and you have someone that will pray with you and be with you yes. until the end and get you to where you're supposed to be in God. Yes, sir. This is what it's all about. We don't give up on people. We don't stop loving and we never stop teaching because that's what God has called us to do. Yes. Batteries are included. Yes. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We thank God for that word. Batteries are included. Now's the time. This is the time we're going to give you the opportunity to give yourself, give your life to the Lord. And that's what we're here for. And that's what this is all about. It's not about a show. It's not about a performance or anything like that. But we're here to help you along this journey. And we know that to make it alone this journey, we need Jesus in our lives. So if you don't know the Lord in the pardon of your sins, or if you strayed away from him, this is your opportunity to come back to God. And it's not a hard thing. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then you shall be saved. And if you uh, want to give your life to the Lord today, we're going to have you pray this prayer. Father God, we thank you for the opportunity to come before you, Lord God. And Lord God, we are sinners, Lord God, and we're asking God that you will forgive us of our sins. Lord, we believe that Jesus lived, he died, and he rose again for the sins of the world. And Lord, we're willing right now to turn from our sins and to accept Jesus Christ as our Savior, Lord. Lord, now take full control of our lives, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God, for loving us. Thank you for forgiving us, God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we give you glory. Now, God, we say yes to your will. Yes. We say yes to your way, Lord Jesus. Yes. And we give you all the honor and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you prayed this prayer, you are saved. And we welcome you into the household and the family of God. We uh, suggest that you get into a Bible-believing church. We Greater Works Community, our reach ministries, we're here for you. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call us. You can call us for prayer. The telephone number is 757-719-0038. We will pray for you. We will mentor you. We'll assist you in any way that we can. And now we're going to uh, pray over the offering. We just thank God for all of the supporters of this ministry. All of you who have given of your finances, of your prayers and your support. We just thank God for you and want you to know that you're seeding into good ground. Yes. Now you can give through our Givelify app. It is Greater Works Community Outreach Ministries or our cash app at dollar sign G-W-C-O-M. That's G-W-C-O-M. And we just thank you again for your support. And let us pray over the gifts at this time. Father God, we thank you for these gifts, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for all the givers, Lord God, those that want to give. And we're not able to, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you will bless them, Lord God, in their finances, Lord God. The provision for them, Lord God, only as you can. And Lord God, we pray that you will use these gifts, Lord God, for the uplifting of your kingdom and the tearing down of the stronghold of Satan. In Jesus' name we pray. And we give you thanks and we love you, God. And we thank you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And we're going to turn this portion of the service back into the hands of the pastor for our benediction. We thank God for his word. We thank God for the songs. We thank God for worship on today. We thank God for always leading us. And we just want to remind everyone on the 19th of this month, we'll be feeding the community again. Uh, we will start at 10 o'clock in the morning. We will be a blessing to the community, looking to feed um, 150 plus families, 250 families this time. 
So we ask that you govern yourselves according to the announcements. Uh, we will be having communion after this particular service. And we just thank God for each and every one of you. Now with uplifted hearts and hands, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide now and forevermore. Let every heart say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. Say amen like you love the Lord. Amen. 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 And remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you.